All right, the West End Food Truck Rally is coming, and who better to speak about that is the, the very lovely Erin Coffin, who is uh, the uh, coordinator of the rally. So you probably know what you're talking about. Most of the time. Most of the time. Sometimes. Okay, me too, most of the time. <laughs> and as well, we have a Catherine uh, Iperagiwe uh, with us, and you are the co-owner of the Rico Peru Food Truck. That's right, yes. Nice to see you here. Thank We're going to make you. something fancy here uh, in moments, so can you just tell us what you're going to be making? Uh, ceviche. It's and, and that is raw fish? Raw fish that gets cooked with the acidity of the lime. The and lime we, cooks it? Yes. Our, uh, in Peru, we know it as a fisherman dish, because okay. people want to go fishing, they can, this is what they have ah. available. So they make it like that. Okay. <laughs> I imagine it will be, yeah. and we'll get into that in, in seconds. So, Erin, how many years have we been doing this food truck rally? This will be the third year. Third year. Yeah. Successful every year. Pretty much. Last year, we did have 74 millimeters of rain, so sort of like what we had earlier this week. Bit of an issue. That was a bit of an issue. It's still a fantastic turnout of almost 1,000 people. Mm -hmm. But our first year, we had 3,500, and we're hoping to have the same. Okay. We've added more trucks, so we have 12 trucks right now coming, Good. including Rico Peru. Nice. Um, we have a lot of variety. We have a lot of um, Asian fusion. We've got Peruvian, traditional poutine, um, as well as seafood. We have white tails coming, which is um, actually game. Mm -hmm. um, wild game food. Really? Yeah, so that should unique. be an interesting uh, change. We have um, Ottawa Street um, Gourmet coming. We've been wooing them for a couple of years now. They okay. finally gave in. They broke well, they have out. to give in because this is for a good cause. This is a great cause. It's for the um, the FAMSAC uh, food cupboard in Nepean, and it's been around for almost f 48 years. Mm -hmm. um, sadly, it would be great if it didn't have to exist, mm -hmm. but it does. So it supplies families uh, emergency food in Bell's Corners, Bay Shore, and a, a number of the little of the neighborhoods that are um, along Green Bank, so uh, Manordale, Woodvale, um, uh, Air, um, Arlington Woods, wow. that kind of area as well. So, so it serves a great population. It's a it's a good chunk of people, a large a large area, yeah. um, but definitely a need there. We have probably at least 120 children a month, at least. That's um, too many. Yeah, it is too many. Um, and the really wonderful thing is, in the last year, the uh, Bell's Corners BIA bought us a fridge, mm -hmm. so now we have fresh milk, fresh eggs, uh, veggies fruit for the families and then also children are getting um, great lunch um, items for their lunches That's including great. fresh fruit for that as well that so. is wonderful yeah. That's, congratulations on uh, the success you've had I mean uh, and just being there just to make uh, this food truck rally to make sure that all these stomachs are fed which is very incredible well I mean it's a way for foodies and families to come together and have a really great a great afternoon together in the Bell's Corners area um, but we have everybody from like uh, Gatineau, Orleans come out. It's wonderful. Yeah. And then... Um, is that Rick Shirelli? It is. That guy's he's in our, everything. He's our counselor as well as uh, Counselor uh, Igli is always also yeah, there. Yeah. He's a lovely guy, a big supporter of ours as well. And uh, we have, we are luckily for us, our uh, local politicians, um, including Lisa McLeod and uh, and Chandra area and uh, Anita. Anita. All kinds Anita. of wonderful they're, they're, They come out all the time. They're always supportive. We see them at Christmas. They always just come out to say hello um, and support us whenever they can. So it's great. Where is the Rico Peru food truck located, Catherine? Uh, normally we park in downtown. The location is Canton Laurier. Yeah. But we go wheels, right? So we go everywhere. You go everywhere. <laughs> wherever, they, yeah. wherever you're needed. Okay. Exactly. Well, let's start uh, putting this together here because yes. I definitely don't want to run at a time because okay. I want to eat some of it. <laughs> <laughs> so what all exactly right. are we making here? So ceviche. So yep. we got the uh, fish. Uh, we add the salt it uh, depends on how you like it um, is tilapia it has okay. to be traditional is a white fish in my country we got so many varieties that really we can work a lot with different options okay and then you add the lime so you want to make sure that you don't ex pre express is that the word <laughs> Uh, well, too you much. Okay, like, you don't want to press. Squeeze. Squeeze. Okay, squeeze. sure. Yeah. Excuse my English. That's okay. <laughs> so, um, so we usually use around two, two limes, or you can use three. Depends on really how much juice you want. You like. In my country, we we always finish the juice. We eat it with some rice. Mm -hmm. um, and but then again, it depends on the people. So really, what what is cooking it is the lime. It's what's doing the, the so it's job. actually cooking right now. Yeah, exactly. Because of the lime. Yeah. Because of the lime. Yes. So now, is that only a fish thing then? I mean, do lime is lime mm. able to cook? Like, if I wanted to make a hamburger, like on, on the bus I or don't think so. Yeah, some, no. Yeah, you can have a beef carpaccio. And yeah, <laughs> and see it, but not the same. <laughs> okay. You'll see the fish go from translucent to more white. More, more white. Like exactly. That's yes. Interesting. Kind of, you know, so in different places like normally in my truck we'll give it about five minutes so it sits but we don't have time to be it right now <laughs> so um is it unhealthy so if i eat it it's not no no it's like it's all fresh sushi right yeah, so okay. it's not yeah. gonna <laughs> good point it's not gonna um, good point yeah 
So then what we add here is the, um, uh, so this is a, a special sauce that we use in the truck. Um, you, we use that. And then depends on how spicy you like it, you can add uh, a bunch of it or just mm. a little bit. I think I may have made it too spicy for you. I like it spicy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there you go, you mix it up, you add the onions. And I don't know as much as you like. I love onions. I, <laughs> I add onions on everything. And then uh, you add more salt to make sure it's good. Some more pepper. You make it look easy, you know, by the way. <laughs> Even though there's no you actual heat, out. I would still have burnt something at the front. <laughs> that would have been a problem. Well, yeah. I mean, this is one of the nice things about the food truck rally is that the food trucks we have is not your usual chip truck. Yeah. That is also a wonderful thing. Yeah, of course. Um, but the nice thing is you're having a lot of interesting flavors like the ceviche where mm -hmm. you can come and try these wonderful things. I'm a big fan of ceviche. Usually I like to use the limes later for a little bit of a mojito on the yeah. side. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. But that's just me at my house. But it is uh, good to know that you do have this food truck yeah. rally going and there are so many healthy op options because yeah. you're, you're, you're inviting kids and families. Yeah. And, Okay. I mean, kid, I know my all kids right. love a good French fry, but yeah, this kind of stuff. I mean, this nice. this this hits all nice generations service. of people too, nice right? Service. Yeah. Okay. So we have that's Peruvian corn that oh, we Peruvian get. Corn. Yeah, and that's uh, I call it the Peruvian popcorn because so it's, it's yeah. Peruvian popcorn. Uh, well, because it's like uh, like it's a corn that we put it on the pan and we pan fry it, and mm, then that's mm, how mm. it becomes like that. So a lot of people love that too. That's good. Oh, and really in our truck, we serve it with uh, lettuce and. Um, and a sweet potato. You see, if I go but back for the the popcorn, then, then yep. it's sort of like I've double dipped. You don't mind, right? Yeah. No, go ahead. It's all for you. <laughs> I know our, our floor director Regal still here. Yeah. It's all for you. Oh so. wow! So this is one of the options that we can get at the food for truck sure. rally. Yes, yeah. that's right. All right, Aaron, where can we find this food truck so rally? So this is it's, it's in a couple of weeks. It's on August twelfth, mm -hmm. uh, Saturday, from eleven to seven at in the parking lot of Christchurch Bells Corners, and that's on Old Richmond Road. So okay. it's kind of in between um, the Bayshore Turnoff and oh, wow. uh, Moody Drive, um, if you're taking the Queensway out west. So easy to find. We're on Facebook. Just search uh, West End Food Truck Rally, or on Twitter, we are CCBC Rally. Okay. And uh, and you can find us there, and I know we can also. We're always we always kind of catch you on Twitter as well. So yeah, of course, so, at uh, Daytime Ottawa. Yes, at for Dylan sure. Black Radio. <laughs> yeah, and I know I'm going to do my best to drop by as well. So we'd love to have you. We have we have lots of fans in our backyard uh, that love to see you. So that's wonderful. <laughs> Fan, like like fans <laughs> to keep me cool. Maybe or people. Just both. <laughs> uh, Aaron and Catherine, thank you very much for being here. The third annual West End Food thank Truck Rally is coming us. Saturday, August 12th. We're looking forward to that. Coming up, details on the World Canoe Kayak World Championships. We got those details next.